So differentiation comes in many forms, guys. You know, as you've probably seen across in A-levels and etc., you'll realize that functions come in either a standard power form, such as the ones we see over here. So I'm talking about these guys right here. This is typically in the form of y equals fx, where fx could be standard powers. So if we had the equation like y equals 2x to the power 3, then to differentiate, well, you just simply drop the power. So we say dy over dx would be 3 times 2, which is 6, because you drop the power. And then you subtract this power by 1, so it becomes 2. Now, this, this is literally as easy as it gets. But the ones I'm really interested in today are the ones that could take the form of multiple products. For example, you have two functions multiplied together, like 2x and e to the x. Or you could have fractional powers, like a function over another function, ux over vx, such as 2x over ex, and so on. Now, and the third type would be a function inside a function. So where you got, let's say, 2x plus 1, but it's actually inside a sine. Or you got 1 plus x, but it's all power to 5, and so forth. Now, in this video, we're going to look at how to pretty much solve um, products, fractional, and a function and a function using specific rules. So, let's check them out. So now, moving over to this page, which is the general solutions. So, of those three types I just spoke about, the one of the products, here we go use the product rule. So, for instance, if y equals two functions multiplied, then to differentiate, we're going to use this answer. So, it'll be the second product times the derivative of the first, so that's u prime plus the first product times the derivative of the second. So these are just general formulas for how to use the product. The quotient, which is kind of similar, instead of adding them, you subtract them and you divide it over v squared. And the chain rule is a bit like a different case where you would actually have to differentiate it inside first, take it out and then differentiate the function itself. For example, if it was sine bracket something, you differentiate the sine, which becomes a cos, and you differentiate it inside and pull it out. So right now, guys, I'm going to show you some worked examples on how to use the product rule, the quotient rule, and finally, the chain rule. And I'm also going to include a fourth example, which shows you how to go from quotient to product. So guys, let's have a look in a bit. So suppose we have a function which equals x squared times ex okay so this is a very nice and common one now according to the definition we have a function here which is u and a second function here which is v so i'll write here let u equal x squared and v equal ex so taking the first derivative respect to x power drops will just be 2x and then taking the first derivative of ex ex so it's just derivative of ex is ex so using this joint product rule what I do is I draw arrows. So this means we're doing v times u prime plus u times v prime. In other words, we're doing this times this. So just knock out the arrows and then you got it. Okay? That means therefore the first derivative is so v times this, so ex times 2x, which I like to put in order, 2x ex, plus this times this is x squared ex. I let fx equal i need to think of something a bit more creative okay the log see how you guys remember the log of x over 3x cubed we know that this one's obviously going to be u up here and this one is a v okay so therefore we know that u is log x and therefore the first derivative of log x inside the log x which is 1 over x itself v is this one v equals 3x cubed Taking the first derivative, drop the 3, multiply on, it'll be 9x, and raise and drop the power by 1, so 2. It's all about just popping the values in, so replacing all these uh, values with this expression here, we should get, so f prime x, so v, so just be this minus this over this squared. Hope this might be an easy way to write down. So let's do it, this times this, which is 3x cubed over 1 over x. If I just do it quickly, it would just give me, 3x squared, the x cancel out, minus log x times this expression here, I just stick them together. Okay, and all over v squared, which is this squared. So 3x cubed squared, well, this would be, mm -hmm, so squared to 3 would give you 9. If you're squaring this power, it's actually multiplying across, so it would be 3x 
to power 3 times 2, which is 6. And there you have it, guys. This would be the solution. So, what's our parameters? Well, first things first, we need to find a u. So this part will be u, because this is a function within a function, not two different products or two different quotients. Okay, so, using the definition of a chain rule, we're going to say let u equal x squared, and then y equal cos u. Okay? Now, taking the first derivative, this one is going to be 2x, and taking the derivative of cos u, respect to u, so this would be minus sine u. And then, if we remember the definition exactly, we said that the derivative dy over dx was u prime times the function, the derivative of the function. And this is the derivative of the function. We just say y prime. So, and we just substitute everything in. So we have 2x times minus sine, instead of writing u, we're going to replace u with x squared. And that's it. And hence, making this look tidy, we're going to have minus 2x sine x squared. And that's it, guys. This is how you do the chain rule. So, instead of memorizing the quotient formula, which I think is just longer, but is quite easy to use anyway, I would actually put vx on the, on the baseline, on the same line as ux. So, we have ux here times, bring this to, bring this to the top line, we'll make it vx to the power minus 1. And there you have it. And all we have to do here now is use the product rule. Since now it's a product, except one is in this format. So in general case, we're not going to call this V prime anymore. So we're just going to give this a new name. Well, let's just call this uh, WX. Okay, just to not mix things up. And therefore, according to the product rule definition, we know that the first derivative of this function is this function W times the first derivative of U plus U times the first derivative of this. So instead of V, we just write in W. And that's it. Now, let's do a quick example and see how we can do this. Okay, so let me write here. So, suppose we have a function which is uh, duh, 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 x cubed over the, not the log of x, that might be too much. Okay, x squared minus 1. So, this might be a bit interesting. Now, manipulating into this format, we're going to have x cubed times x squared minus 1 to the power of minus 1. Okay? And you know, it's screw writing w, I'm just going to call this u and v because it's just how we're taught in school and how I think you're probably taught as well. And using the product rule, we're going to have u equals x cubed. Taking the first root of this one is 3x squared. v equals x squared minus 1 to the power of minus 1. And now the first root of this one, so you kind of need to remember how to apply chain rule here, but to do it fast and easy, what I do is I drop the power of minus 1 down and times it by a derivative of inside. So we drop this down to be minus 1 here, x squared minus 1, raise this to minus, drop this to minus 2, and then differentiate inside. Respect to x will give you 2x. So really, this part is just minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. x squared minus 1 power minus 2. And lastly, using the finding the derivative, the final step, v times u prime plus u times v prime so this times that which is just 3 x squared x squared minus 1 power minus 1 plus now this times this part here x cubed times this term so x cubed times this will make x power 4 and stick the rest in and change this to a minus sign because it's minus it will be minus 2 x to the power 4 times x squared minus 1 over minus 2. 